Welcome to my channel, I'm Danny, and today I want to talk about a few really beautiful upcoming Louis Vuitton pieces that I saw on none other than Foxy LV Instagram's account. I am sucked in again. Oh. I'm just going to preface this by saying that I'm not going to buy any of these pieces. I mean, I, I really hope so anyway. I really, really want a Birkin 25 and these prices on their own are difficult enough to swallow, let alone if you're trying to build up a Birkin fund. So for now, I am just going to admire them from afar and maybe I'll put some of them on my wish list and I'll buy them in the future, future, future of the pre-loved market. But do let me know if you intend on buying any of these pieces. Now, I won't be talking about the starters collection because I kind of have neutral feelings towards pastels. Some pastels I can appreciate, but I don't know, maybe because my vision's not very good, I'm trying to put off wearing glasses for as long as I can, and I'm also a little bit sleep deprived. So I kind of like color and I like lots and lots of pigment, some of which you will see in this video. So the first one, which is the Cousin wallet, it comes in teal, beige and black, but obviously my favorite is the teal. Now I don't really use these kind of long wallets anymore, but wow, that color, mm. and the texture must feel so delicious when you go and feel it. I would really like to have a feel of this sort of cousin, pillowy texture on a small wallet like this. But that color, wouldn't that just brighten up your day when you open up your bag? So the next piece that caught my eye was this one over here. Now I was just saying that I don't use long wallets anymore because I just started using a slim card holder and oh my god, it has been life changing. Like in my mind, I'm thinking, why didn't I start using a small card holder earlier? The one that I'm using is from Kate Spade because I'm just trying out the style for the first time and I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm looking for a more bougie <laughs> premium luxury designer one once I'm done with the Kate Spade one. And I absolutely love this one here. There's no information on this one. There's not even a name or dimensions, but it looks like there's five external card slots in total and a middle slip pocket. Oh, it's so pretty. So there's a giant reverse monogram on the one side with the one card slot and the regular monogram on the other side with just four card slots. And I'm just curious how much this one is. I said I'm not going to buy anything, but I might text my essay just to find out the price and to also find out whether this will come out in leather at some time in the future because that would be so, so nice. Like this in emprunt leather. This next bag is called the Why Not. I mean, how cute is this bag? It's like this little, little pouch. <laughs> it does remind me a lot of this bag here from Simbono. But I believe that the Simbono one is not made of genuine leather. And yeah, I, I, I'm just not into faux leather. They haven't really done really well for me. But I've always looked at the Simbono one thinking, wow, wouldn't it be nice if a luxury house could come up with the same design? And Louis Vuitton has answered my prayers, but just not at the right time. And how funny is that? Like small fashion houses copy big ones and now big ones also copy small ones. <laughs> so this is a little hobo bag. Louis Vuitton has put a knot at the top and then there's a long chain strap attached to the side of the bag. This bag here is in the Mahina leather, which is the Louis Vuitton monogram pattern perforated into the leather. It is a leather that softens over time and it'll lend itself really nicely to the hobo style of this bag. The zip looks like a real pain. But hey, the bag is still pretty. And I've saved the best for last, as always. Isn't this such a cute bag? You know I said I love pigment? And this pink on what I think may be a small bag would be the perfect pop of colour in an outfit. The bag design too, I mean, the maxi multi-pochette, I'm assuming it's the pochette accessoire with a front pocket, but they've labelled it maxi, so I do wonder a little bit how big it is. If that front pocket could fit a phone, this bag would be so good. I'm sure it'll just be flying off the shelves. It also comes with two straps, so you can wear it as a short shoulder bag, as well as a long shoulder or a crossbody bag. Now this white colorway. Oh my god, so pretty. This is like monogram, but in dummy as well. And for the longest time, I've been wishing for Louis Vuitton to make the monogram in the Damier Azor colorway. And again, they've granted my wishes, but not at the right time. <laughs> and you know what? Let's take a closer look. It looks like the signature Louis Vuitton coated canvas. So the monogram is not like silk screen, which rubs off. So this shouldn't rub off and it should be relatively carefree. Wow. This bag is my pick out of all of it and I would love, love to check it out in person. And if you're not into the dummy as well or the lighter colorways, there is this canvas in the darker color as well. 
Foxy LV has put up a picture of the on the go with a front pocket. Wouldn't it be awesome to see more bags in this canvas? I would love to see a Speedy 20 in this material. Now let me know if you like any of these picks. Are you excited for any of these drops? Are you contacting your essay about these pieces? If you enjoyed this video, certainly give me a like. And over here, I'm going to link my video on the Louis Vuitton Tennis Collection.